Uh, hello, IYF campers. My name is Glenn. My name is Nathan. And we're from IYF Detroit! So everyone, uh, it's December right now. That means Christmas is coming up. Uh, we prepared a nice Christmas tree for you. Uh, Merry early Christmas. But that also means it's near the end of the semester, so it's exam time. Nathan, do you have exams? Yeah, I have a final exam tomorrow. Oh man, good luck with that. Thank you. Everyone, it is crunch time this week especially, but I know you're all going to pull through, so good luck with that. Now also, we have some good news. That's English camp is coming up, right? I'm so excited! Yeah, me too. It's really going to be great in Monterey. It's the second time we're doing it there. So we have some questions that we thought you guys might be asking. We wanted to give you some information. So let's get started. Yeah, oh, I will start first. Oh, actually, who can be an IYF English volunteer? Okay, that's a really great question, Nathan. Now, the IYF is really open about accepting anyone who's willing to volunteer. All that matters is if you're a college student or an adult, you just have to have a heart to really, you know, serve these students and want to volunteer for them. You also have to be really willing to participate in, you know, all the different programs that we have prepared for you. It's going to be a busy schedule, so I hope you're up for the challenge. Now, if you're a minor, are you a minor? Do I look minor? Yeah. Oh man, I'm a big boy, I'm 20. Okay, if you say so. Now, if you are a minor, like 16 or 17 years old in high school, you can also go, you just have to have your parents sign a parental consent form, okay? So please keep that in mind. Now, Nathan, we're going to Mexico, and they use Spanish in Mexico. What if I don't speak Spanish? Can I still go as a teacher? Well, that's not a problem. We actually well, want stu student to speak English more. Mm. And so if you don't speak in Spanish, it actually encourages them to speak English more. Okay, that makes and sense. And also they will be the English-Spanish interpreters in just in case. If you speak both languages, you are welcome to join as an interpreter. Alright, that's, that's a great opportunity. Cool. So Glenn, mm -hmm. uh, do I need teaching experience to teach English to Mexican students? Actually, not at all. You know, of course it is a plus if you have some experience, but even if you've never taught English before, that's not a problem. When we went to Monterey or earlier this year, I never taught. But you know, that really adds to the challenge and it gives you a lot of, you know, growth as you teach. Plus these students, they're really great about making you feel comfortable and confident as you learn to teach. So don't worry about it, okay? Cool. Alright, now, uh, Nathan, I have a question. Uh, you know, I think maybe many students, they want to register, and you know, but they don't know how. Can you let us know how we can register? Oh, right, that's a piece of cake. <laughs> uh, if you, you can online, you can go online, which is IYF or IYFUSA.org uh, by clicking on the register now link mm -hmm. under the English camp. Or you can register at your local branch uh, office, IYF office. Okay, cool. So yeah, everyone, go to iyfusa.org to register. So Glenn, oh, I have another question. Yeah. What's going to happen at the volunteer workshop in Dallas? Alright, yeah, I bet a lot of people are curious about that. Now, you might have gone to a workshop in the state where you're living now, if you're seeing this, or you might be going to one in the future. But once you get to Dallas, all the volunteers across the U.S. are going to gather. This is a very big workshop, okay? And we're going to hold it in a hotel in the city of Dallas. Now, this workshop is going to do three things, okay? Now, number one, it's going to give you a chance to kind of learn the tricks of the trade when it comes to teaching English. You know, we speak English very easily, comfortably, but teaching, it might be a challenge. So, we're going to be inviting some professionals who teach English, and they have a lot of experience under their belts. They're going to teach us what kind of tools we can use when teaching. And then also, the second thing is you're going to get a chance to meet other volunteers from around the country, and they're going to be working with you, preparing lesson plans, and also figuring out what you guys are going to do once you get to Monterey. So don't worry, we're not going to send you empty-handed, okay? Now, the other thing is, uh, the third and most important part, I believe, is we're going to have a chance to really uh, share the Word of God and fellowship together. You know, the IYF is a Christian-based organization, so the spiritual development sessions we have in the morning and the evening are some of the most important parts for us to fellowship and really learn about the heart of a volunteer as found in the Bible. Alright, so yeah, that's what we're doing during the workshop. Alright, so... So I have another question. Mm -hmm. How much does the IYF English camp cost? Oh, okay. You know, actually this camp is very affordable because, you know, we're college students, you know, yeah. and we, you know, always live on a tight budget. But this camp is only $300. Wow. And that covers your room and board, that covers your food, three meals a day, because we like to eat, right? Eating is important. And then also it covers all your teaching materials. And there's a lot of small stuff thrown in there too, like these really awesome blue t-shirts that we're wearing. I know you want one, don't worry, you'll get one. 
You get your volunteer ID card, and like I said, accommodation, the hotel in Dallas, yeah. the hotel in Monterey, they're very nice, that's provided for. Also transportation back and forth, and all of the small things that you'll be needing. Now, there is also the transportation you'll be taking from your city and the states to Dallas, like from New York to Dallas, from Miami to Dallas, or LA. Anyway, no matter where you're coming from, there may be another transportation fee with that, okay, depending on where you're going from. So please check with your local branch again, they'll give you the details. And the third cost that we have to let you know about is, once you get to the border of Monterey, there is a $22 fee for a certain traveler's document that we're going to have you fill out. Besides that though, that's all. So yeah, very affordable for you guys. Yeah, alright, great. So now, uh, Nathan, you know, once we get to Dallas and then Monterey, we're going to be gone for quite a few days. Where are we staying? Oh, that's a really good question. And actually, the IYF, IYF has prepared the hotel in both in Dallas and in Ooh, Monterey. Great. And it's going to be dormitory style with a typical four people to a room and two queen-size beds. Alright, so I guess we're going to be rooming together then, right? Yeah. Alright, sounds like a lot of fun. Great. Uh, any more questions for me? Oh, I have a, another question. Uh, I've, I've heard a lot of uh, news about Mexico. Mm. So, is it safe to cross the Mexico border? That's actually a very great question. You know, everyone, uh, you need not be concerned about safety or security. Uh, this English camp is supported by the government in wow. the state of Nuevo Leon, where Monterey is located, and also by the city government itself. So once we cross the border into Mexico, the police are actually going to be escorting us wow. all the way to Monterey. And now once we get to Monterey also, every day they're going to be providing escorting uh, service to the schools where we teach and then back to the hotels every morning and evening. So everyone, we're going to be completely safe, don't worry about it. Alright, so well, yeah. it sounds really secure. And I have a last question. Okay. Oh, do I, do I need... Do I need to have visa to go to Mexico? Alright, great question. Now, if you're a US citizen, fortunately you do not need a visa. All you need is your, your passport and that's, that's all you have to take with you. But if you're a citizen of another country, you may need a visa. I'm not sure. Now, Nathan, where are you from? I'm from South Korea. Do you guys need a visa? Actually, we don't need visa to go to Mexico. Alright, that's really great. But some countries may require a visa, so please contact the Mexican Consulate General or the Embassy to find out. Now, also, if you're an international student, you may need something on your F1 documentation, okay? So please check your international student office on your local campus to find out about that. Alright, so everyone, I think that's all the questions we have. Uh, we really hope to see you at the English camp. So, everyone, go to iyfusa.org and register now. We hope to see you there, everyone. Right now. That's right. So, I'm Glenn. I'm Nathan. And we're signing off. Everyone, see you at English camp. Bye! Bye.